guys, welcome back. Today I filmed a get ready with me. I actually went out for a friend's birthday and this is the look that I came up with. So first I start off by priming my eyes and then I'm digging into the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Starting off with Petal Pusher and I'm using that as a transition shade. I did think that this color was just a little light so I opted to use Wild West to deepen it up and it turned out to be perfect. I was really going for a mauve smoky eye this day because my dress was a deep mauve and I thought it would go really well together. Now I'm going into Cherry Cola, also from Makeup Geek, and I'm deepening it up even more and I'm also sweeping it onto the lid. Then I'm going in with the color Bitten and I'm using that on the outer third of the crease just to deepen it up even more. It's all about layering when it comes to smoky eyes. I've said it before, and this is no different. I'm also going in with cabin fevers because I want a little bit more of a rich brown. I am now using a more detailed blending brush, dipping into Americano and just focusing that in the very most inner part of my crease, like where the fold is just because I wanted to intensify it so that when I add the next color, which is from ColourPop in the shade Millionaire, it stands out a little bit more. Now I do find that when I put on the ColourPop shadows, they go on so much better if I use my finger. So I'm just dipping it in there and applying it with my pinky. Now I didn't feel like this color was really doing much, so I decided to top it off with the shade Starry Eyed from Makeup Geek, which is a little bit brighter. Using a small shader brush just to make sure that I can place the color precisely where I need it. Could have used my finger, but this was supposed to be a little bit more detailed, so I went in with that instead. Now for winged eyeliner. I had to do it, and whenever I know that I'm going out and I don't want my eyeliner to budge or fade, I always reach for the Inglot Gel Liner. It can be a little bit trickier in comparison to liquid liner, but I honestly do believe that it makes a huge difference. And to apply it, I'm using a Sigma brush. I think it's called the E16. I'll link it down below if I find it, um, but it makes applying a wing liner so easy. It's ridiculous. I used to be obsessed with the Sephora bent eyeliner, but this is so much better. And just look at the Inglot liner. It's super pigmented, I love it so much. Going back to the eyes, I'm just deepening up the crease because after I applied my wing liner, I noticed that it did change the eyeshadow a little bit and I wanted to make the eyes appear more rounded. So I'm using a Cherry Cola and Bitten. And then with the first brush that I used, I'm just blending out any harsh edges that might have been made. Coating my lashes with mascara and for falsies, I use the Velour Fluff and Wispies. Oh my goodness, these are phenomenal. I wore these to my graduation and I forgot how good they were. They applied pretty easily too and they just gave the eyes such a pretty flirty look, but you're still able to see the eyeshadow. Because sometimes when they're too big, I feel like it gets lost, but these didn't, which is great. And before I apply any foundation, I did want to carve out my brows just to make sure that I knew where I was going to be filling them in later. The concealer that I'm using is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer, and I believe the shade was NW35. For primer, I'm using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. That's a mouthful. Um, just to give my skin a very luminous look before applying foundation. To color correct my dark circles, I decided to use the color corrector from Urban Decay in the shade Peach, and I'm just blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Then for foundation, I mix two, the Studio Fix Fluid and the Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm using my favorite brush to apply it, which is the number 55 brush from Sephora Collection. This blends it out so well. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but I promise it will all get blended and it will all come together. For concealer, I'm using the Shape Tape from Tarte Cosmetics. I wanted this look to be super full coverage, so this was the perfect concealer to use. 
and I'm just applying it in all the areas that I usually do, which is the under eye, the chin, the forehead, and I'm blending it out with a damp beauty blender sponge. The beauty blender is key because it really does soak up any extra product that I don't want on my skin. I can get a little heavy handed, so the beauty blender is always there for me. I also like to use the beauty blender just to blend out the foundation a little bit more as well. Now I'm setting the under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to make sure that they don't crease and it stays on for an even longer period of time. I'm also using a foundation powder from MAC to set the rest of the face. For bronzer, I'm using the Profusion bronze from Makeup Forever and I love it because it blends out effortlessly, it doesn't have any talc so it won't clog your pores as well. And I go a little heavy handed, I know, but I really like to be bronze. Especially during the winter time because there's no sun. I can never skip out on blush, so I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. It's such a good one, I completely forgot how nice it was, so I had to use it. And for that extra glow, I'm trying out the Kai Lighter in Cotton Candy Dream, and I've actually been really enjoying it. It's such a pretty natural glow and it doesn't look glittery. That's perfect, I love it. Now I'm just blending away any extra powder that I might have left on my face. Then to further brighten up the areas that I highlighted, I wanted to go in with the banana shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, just to brighten that up. And to contour, I'm using the first two shades with a small Morphe brush. To give further definition to the face, the cheeks, the nose, the forehead, and of course the jawline. Then I wanted to clean up that contour just a little bit more, so I tried out the golden powder from Kat Von D. After I made a huge mess, of course, typical. And this Morphe brush made all the difference. It came as part of one of their kits, so I, know, I don't know if they sell it individually, but I'm sure they have something similar. For my brows, I'm gonna speed through this because it's very repetitive and I usually do the same thing. I am using the Capra from Benefit in the shade number four. I'm outlining them and then filling them in as I go. And it makes such a huge difference, I love it. Now I do start off with a more natural brow and then I bump it up. I don't know, I wanted to be really extra this day. I was really feeling it. Now I'm highlighting my brow bone and my inner corners with Cotton Candy Cream, also from Kylie Cosmetics. Just to brighten it up. And I'm blending out the, the little bakage that we had going on before. Now for the eyes, I'm using Americano. And I wanted to deepen up my crease even more. I know, like how much more can I deepen it up, right? But look at it, I think it really made a difference. It made it much more sultry and just like perfection. I really like the way that the eyes look this day. And I'm also going in with Bitten, Cherry Cola, and Americano, all on a small shader brush right under the eyes and a little bit in the crease. And blend it all out. Moving on to the lips, I used Dolce K Lip Liner from Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm outlining my lips as well as filling them in. I can never skip this part because if I do, I find that the lips don't, the lipstick actually, not the lips, the lipstick doesn't last as long. For the lipstick, I'm using this one from Colored Rain in the shade Mars, and I love it. It's a deep mauve, and I think that it complemented the look really well. And my dress, if I do say so myself. Now, I don't do this step too often, but I did want to just line my lower lash just a little bit and apply some lower lash mascara as well. For the final steps, I'm just making sure that everything is locked and loaded. So I'm using the Glow Mist from Pixi, as well as the Smashbox Primer Water. 
I've been enjoying this combination very much. And that's it. That's the final look. I hope you guys had fun today and enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the bottom section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.